The NRHA and the right to information were among the biggest achievements of the UPA1. The government now wants to extend these. I have with me Aruna Roy and Nikhil Day who have been pioneers of this movement. We've been having a di discussion on where these came from and that today there still remain very big problems in both the NREGA and the RTI. Now uh, on the NREGA for example, the, uh, one of the biggest criticisms is that the wages are too high. That if the government is now going to go in with a 100 rupee wage, it l leaves people who want to employ labour in rural areas just looking for uh, workers, that they can't afford to pay a hundred rupees and you have uh, uh, the NREGA taking away the labor force. There are stories about farmers in Punjab who uh, are waiting at railway stations because the people from Bihar have stopped coming. Uh, what do you think should be done? Do you think it's a problem? Do you think that it's okay to, uh, you know, because on the positive side, you could say that uh, people should have had higher wages in any case, but then what happens to farmers who are looking for uh, laborers? What, what would you say to this? I think there were two criticisms that carried on simultaneously at the beginning when NREJ came in. One was that it won't work at all. Now, with the criticism that's now coming in, at least one has to acknowledge it has worked. Oh, that it's it, working too yeah, much, it's, actually. Well, maybe that. Mm. And for farmers who employ labor, mm. to be looking for labor is an encouraging sign for a whole set of people. That but, at least that there is... this is making the government the uh, employer of the first resort. It is and it isn't because actually we found in many places it isn't that the mining is stopped, it isn't that the quarrying is stopped, it isn't that contract labor is stopped, it is not even that the farmers are not employing. It is actually that there were very depressed wages mm -hmm. and people who are migrating out have now got some bargaining power. People who are going to contract works mm -hmm. have got some bargaining power mm -hmm. and I don't think it has gone up that huge amount, mm -hmm. it was that there was exploitation labor in many, many parts of the country. Also, we've seen that this has really regenerated the rural economy in many places. Okay. The Money has gone in. You see, it's only 100 days in the year. Mm -hmm. 265 days they are out working for others. Mm -hmm. Now, what it has really done, today we looked at the price of moong dal. Mm -hmm. It's more than 75 rupees a kilo. Now, you can't expect everything else to rise, salaries of IAS officers to rise. You know, the, fi the sixth financial commission has raised everybody's salaries. You have incredibly high salaries, even for teachers. So in that economy, when prices shoot up, because others get tremendous rise in their salaries and perks, the poor also so have to get a reasonable wage. So 100 happy? rupees hmm. is not even a fair wage. So you're happy with uh, what you are seeing in terms of, okay, that they, they're being given what they should be given and it should not be more. Yet. Not Okay, not yet. That, that, fine, you're entitled to uh, your opinion on that. But uh, that, what do, what do you see? That you, you're not seeing that uh, it is leading to a uh, distortion of the labor market? You're not seeing, I mean, because you, you see have field experience. You, you see the, mm. uh, the, 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 the solution to this doesn't lie mm. in changing the NREG or reducing the minimum wage. No, but there's been it, a it, no, jump no. in the wage that is being offered now.